friends, we're back. We're talking exam three. We're on problem number six. Gosh, how many problems can be on this exam? Not this many, but you have to pick which one's going to show up, right? So we better study them all. So this looks like a simple friction problem. They ask us to find the value of theta, this angle here, where motion occurs. So what's going to happen? I've got block A here, block B here. Block B is heavier than block A, okay? So this is what we call a simple friction problem, right? We're going to use mu times n. Friction is fun. Okay, so step one, you got to like assume a direction that things are going to happen. Then you base your free bodies on those. And if you assume wrong, you're going to get negative. If you assume right, you're going to get positive. I'm going to try and assume right. I don't know. To me, it makes sense that this guy is heavier. I think he'll slide down. I think that guy will slide up. So let's see. Uh, we do know that the friction coefficient everywhere is 0.15. So let's put that up here. Mu sub s equals 0.15. So the next thing to do on these problems is just draw a free body diagram of the piece parts that we have here, okay? So here we go. So I've got two free bodies to draw. Okay, there's one block. That's a Terrible block, isn't it? I, I, am, I am so sorry. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. And then here's the second block. Okay. Now, we've got to put some things on there, like our uh, the rest of the forces. So what are you going to put on these blocks? Okay, here we go. Uh, they tell us that block this is block A. This is block B. Block A weighs 20 pounds. And again, I'm going to assume that block A is going to slide this way and block B is going to slide that way. That's my assumption. I don't know if I'm right or not, but I'll get a negative if I'm wrong. But this guy's heavier. I think he's going to slide down. That one's going to slide up. That's what I think. I've been wrong before, but I'm not afraid to make a mistake. All right, block B. 30 pounds. All right, what else is going on here? Well, there's a normal force between these guys, okay? So this may be the normal, we'll call this the normal from A. And then this has to be the normal from A. And then, then the block B is sitting on this uh, bar here and that, we'll call that the normal from B. Okay, every time you have two bodies in contact, you have a normal force and you also have friction unless the problem specifically says it's a smooth surface, which really is the statics way to say there's no friction there. But we have friction everywhere, okay? So let's look at the direction these blocks are going to slide. Uh, if, if I am block A, what am I feeling? I am feeling block B sliding that way, don't I? Okay, and that's the friction that I feel. So I feel this, the friction from A. Over here, if I, I'm this guy, what do I feel? I feel that other block sliding that way. That's the friction you're feeling. Okay, that's the friction A. And then this block wants to slide down the hill, so friction is going to go up the hill. Okay, so there's friction uh, B. And the last thing that I have is I have this. I have T is for tension. That's good enough for me. So the tension here goes around a pulley. So the tension over here is exactly the same, isn't it? So this also is feeling an upward force, T, okay? And then, of course, we have our angle theta that we're trying to find. And so uh, I think one thing that I could do is this. I think that would be easiest if I tilted my coordinate system. Okay, and I made this my new X, and I made this my new Y. Is that okay? Why are you doing that? Well, because I have so much stuff that's 90 degrees apart from each other, right? So I think it's, I think it's prudent. Okay, so there's X, and again, there's Y. Okay, so uh, the only thing that I need to do, let's see, where's theta? Okay, here's theta. Okay. It's good. I always draw myself a little horizontal line because theta is here. This 
is theta. So that is 90 minus theta, and so this is also theta over here. Okay, that's theta. And this is theta. Okay, why is that important? Well, here's why that is important, because I'm going to have to break this vector here into components, right? This guy right here. He's not in the X or the Y. He's going to have components, and his components are going to go this way. There's one there and one there, right? And this guy is 20. Uh, whoop, that's cosine, isn't it? Cosine theta. And this guy right here is 20 sine theta, okay? Same thing over here. Uh, this guy has two components, one here and one there. And this guy here, 20 cos theta. Oh, that's 30, not 20. Okay, and this guy here, 30 sine theta. All right, so I have everything labeled. We got lots of nice colors there. It looks kind of confusing, but maybe it's not too bad. So from that, we want to write our equations of equilibrium about these two free body diagrams. So let's do that right quick, okay? So from this free body, what do you see? Okay, here we go. And notice, here's a tip of the pros, right? There are no dimensions on these boxes here, right? So that tells me that I better be able to solve this with nothing more than some of the force in the X and some of the force in the Y. No moments, because I don't have any of the distances, right? So it's got to be forces X, forces Y. That's your, I mean, you, you should be able to look at the problem and you're like, oh, there's no dimensions on this problem on the test. Uh, my only option is forces X, forces Y. Let's go, okay? So here we go. Forces X, some of the forces in the Y. All right? So that's just from this free body. We'll do that for this one as well. Uh, I better go down here, right? I'm going to run out of room. Okay, we don't need you. All right, here we go. So for this free body, let's go in the x direction. What do we have? This is, this is positive x. This is positive y. We have, uh, let's see, if anything starts to move, is it fun friction? Yes, it is, right? Because it's, there's impending motion, okay? So FA is going to turn into 0.15 NA, okay? FA here equals 0.15 NA. FB equals 0.15 NB. Okay, if, you, if it's not sliding, then it's not fun friction. But in this case, if this one moves, then that one has to move, don't they? Because they're tied together. So here we go in the X. I've got this, 0.15 NA. Okay, who else do I have? I've got this guy, 20 sine theta, going uh, positive. All right. And who else do I have? That guy, minus T. Okay. And in the Y direction, we've got NA. Uh, we've got minus 20 cos theta. And do we have anyone else here? Well, hmm. I'm not seeing anything else. Okay? So let's go to the next free body over here. Did we get them all? We got one, two, three, four, five. And I think I got them all over there, right? So here on this, on this free body, we got a lot more going on in this free body, don't we? What do we have here? We have uh, in the X direction. I've got in the, I like a positive first. Can you give me it? No, I don't have a, so I'm going to start with this negative. Minus. 0.15 NB, okay, and then, ooh, minus 0.15 NA, 
And then I've got this guy, so plus 30 sine theta. And then I have minus t, don't I? Okay. And that's all the x direction stuff. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. And in the y corner, we've got mb. Right, I got mb. I got minus in a. I got minus minus 30 cos theta. And is that it? One, two, three. Three things. One, two, three. I think I got them all. Okay? So I have two sets of equations. A set there and a set there. I think what I have ahead of me is some algebra. Okay? I know these free bodies are beautiful. If you need to see them, you can rewind back. But I'm going to erase them so I can solve this problem here. Okay? I'm looking for theta. The goal is to find theta. Okay, so let me erase this, and we'll see if we can find theta. Woo, those were good. I'm telling you, if I can come by your paper during the test, right, and I drew the free body diagrams for friction problems on your paper, certainly you could write these equations, couldn't you? Oh, no, you erased part of your theta and your t. And the students are like, could you just come by my paper and do that, please? I would appreciate it, okay? So I'm going to get this kind of solved into some equations here, right? So from there, t is equal to 0.15 na plus 20 uh, sine theta. Okay? And from that equation, I get that na is equal to 20 cos theta. Okay? What do I get over here? Oh, check it out. Um, okay, I get this. It, look here, NB, if I substitute NA in there, what do I get? I get NB is equal to, right, I'm going to put 20 cos theta in here. The 20 cos theta plus the 30 cos theta equals 50 cos theta, doesn't it? That's cool. So I got one equation I haven't messed with, and that's this guy right here. Let's solve him for t. Okay, so t is equal to um, negative 0.15 nb minus 0.15 na plus 30 sine theta. Okay, here's an equation for t. There's an equation for t. Let's set those two equal to each other. Okay, so we get, um, what do we get? 15.15 na plus 20 sine theta equals minus 0.15 na. Uh, that's, a, that's a b, sir. Well, it's okay. Minus 0.15 nb. There's na, nb. They're both negative, plus 30 sine theta. Okay, anything we can combine, we can move this guy to the other side. Whoop, he becomes 0.3 NA. And I'll move this guy over there, plus 0.15 NB. And I'll move this guy to the other side. So I got 30 over there. I'm going to subtract 20 from it, and he becomes 10 sine theta. Okay? If only I knew something about NA and NB. If only. If only. If only. Oh, I do. Let's substitute. So 0.3 times NA is 20 cos theta plus 0.15 times 50 cos theta is equal to 10 sine theta, okay? Calculator, help me out here, man. Okay, I can add these two guys together because they're both cos co theta, right? So 0.3 times 20 plus 
0.15 times 50 equals 13.5. So 13.5 cos theta is equal to 10 sine theta. I divide cosine over there, divide 10 over there, I get um, uh, what? 1.35 is equal to tan theta, right? 13.5 divided by 10. And so, how about that? Inverse tan of 1.35 is equal to 53.47 degrees. And guess what? I got all positive answers here. Everything looks good, which means, dude, we totally assumed the wrong direction. If you assume the wrong direction, if you assume these backwards, you'll get a negative theta here, and you'll be like, what? But if you assume it correct, you'll get a positive theta. 53.47 degrees. Bam. There it is. And guess what? It's all about what? Those beautiful free body diagrams that we erased, okay? you got to be able to draw them. So important. All right, gang. See you next video.